Hello everyone, and welcome back to my small corner of the internet. Uh, we're playing something a bit different today. I decided to take a little bit of a break from Age of Empires 2, just in case I burn out. Your first priority so, is as an we are should be to playing ensure you Empire have Total War. Defenses in place, as a strong navy is the Hello, key to your shore. Laser Squish EC. Beyond Hello. That, maintain friendly relations with other properties. Alright, yes. So, uh... It's been a while since I've played Empire Total War. I did want to play Darth Mod, but uh, I couldn't be bothered downloading it. Too much effort. So, um, the plan for today is, as the stream suggests, we want to do Master of the Americas. Which basically means I have to control every single region in the Americas region. Uh, I've done Master of India before, uh, probably as the British. I've never done Master of Europe. Um, if I get Master of, uh, your girlfriend is away, so you're here. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I miss fallback options, guys. Don't tell his girlfriend. Um, so yeah, so we start off, obviously, with Edinburgh, Scotland, uh, Edinburgh, London, Dublin. Uh, we don't have Gibraltar, because we've not taken it yet. And have Malta, and we've got Jamaica and the Bahamas. Um... What we also have is a protectorate in America, so the 13 colonies, um, who will basically, almost straight off the bat, will be attacked by the Iroquois. They will attack them. Uh, in order to actually win, we do need to take these provinces from the French. Um, they've also got their own protectorate here in Upper Louisiana. And also, Spain exists as well, and they've also got New Spain as their own protectorate here. Oh yes, yeah, I forgot about Rupert's Land. We've also got Rupert's Land up here. Um, so we've got these. It's pro my first port of call is probably going to be secure, and at least get these armies over. There's John Churchill, also known as Marlborough. He's uh. The guy who owns Blenheim, uh, his family owns Blenheim around here because of the Battle of Blenheim, which takes place, if I remember correctly, now since that's around this area. Uh, I don't know too much about this period of history. It's not really my thing. Um, but, you know, here we are. Okay, so. Oh, fun fact, my original uh, my original Steam username was 33rd Regiment of Foot because <laughs> uh, Empire Total War was my first ever game on Steam. So... Uh, let's... Oh yeah, it's Isaac Newton. Hey man. Uh, let's go to Cambridge. As you desire. Shall we? Aha. And Learning we need to research some stuff. We probably want to get Pug Bayonet up because My eyes otherwise uh, the native factions are going to absolutely fuck us in melee. Because that's what they do. Right, let's have a look what we've got in London. Opera House. Great Parliament. Okay, so nothing too much there. Scotland needs building up. Dublin. It's got a governor's residence. Let's get my navy together. Alright, we've got John Churchill here. And we can go garrison Dublin with Henri de Mus. I'll have a look at the infrastructure. So my start plan, my plan is going to be mainly, um, we're going to start by just looking at getting the UK beefed up a bit. What have we got in Scotland? We've got a farm, got a trading port, nice, okay. At the ready. Before we uh, go anywhere. So we'll stick John Churchill in London. We'll just level up most of England. Anything in Ireland I can afford to level up? No. Okay, right. And then we'll pop over to the Americas. So Port Royal is probably going to be the place I start my campaign from, as that is a military colony, which you can see from Military Governor's Barracks. So I can recruit all these from here. Um, the pirates are going to be a problem, um, so we are going to want to combine my fleets. So we watch out for the, the pirates. What have I got here? I got brig, six rate, six rate, sloop, sloop, 
And a fifth rate from John Leak. Okay. Can I recruit anything in here? No, not yet. So, Nassau, we've got a plantation there. Okay, so I think my first port, my first port of call, will probably be dealing with the pirates and trying to get an army over to the Americas because the thirteen colonies are going to get attacked pretty early on. Um, How may I serve? As we are going to want to try and look at securing Rupert's Land as well. Want to get roads set up there, um, and that prepares us for that. Diplomatic relations wise, France hates us, of course they do. Russia will trade with me. Sure, we'll get a trade agreement. Any of minor nations. If you want to trade. Savoy wants to trade, it seems. Ah, oh, no, never mind. Denmark, would you like to trade? Uh, no. <laughs> Okay, that's the one thing about the AI in this. So I haven't got any mods installed. This is pure vanilla. Um, one thing about the AI in this is that they like you'll do like a diplomatic thing, and they'll just ask for your provinces. <laughs> the Knights of Saint John guys, they exist, but I'm gonna have to kill them because I need to take Malta in order to win the campaign. But that's okay. All right, we'll end the turn, and we'll see who declares war on the. Uh... We'll see who declares war on the thirteen colonies. Oh. Uh, I'm allied to Austria, apparently. Wow, okay, I did not realise that. Uh, well, I guess I'm at war with Prussia. Oh, God. Okay, Poland and is also declaring war. Uh, these guys, the Ottomans, want to trade with me? Sure. Alright, so we've got two wars breaking off in, uh, in, Canada or, uh, in Canada, in Europe already. Oh, there he goes. Yeah, I thought the Iroquois would be the one for going on. Oh, and the Huron have declared war on me. Okay, yeah, so if I uh, take... If I take Georgia, Cherokee Territory, and New France, then I get the 13 colonies. So I need to take Savannah. I need to take New France. I need to take Quebec. And I also needed to say where? Sorry, George Cherokee Territory. So here, as well. So I need to wipe out the Cherokee nations. Oh no, it's one of your favourite Total Wars. Hey PG. Yeah, I figured I've been playing a lot of Age of Empires. I wanted to take a bit of a break, and I recently uh, had been watching the. Uh, well, not watching, but like just bits of Last of the Mohicans have been coming up on my YouTube. So I was just like, you know what? I kind of want to. Uh, I'm kind of in a bit of a colonial mood, so I kind of wanted to play Empire Total War. So here we go. Uh, we've got a pirate fleet here. Let's go finish that off. We will auto resolve that. I uh, one of the things I don't like in these Total Wars are the uh, the naval combat. I've never particularly good at it. Where's he gone? Okay, so uh, the pirates will be a pain in the ass for a while. Uh, what army do we actually have here? Mm, it's a really small one. Not great. Um, the 13 colonies will fight the Iroquois. Uh, and hopefully hold. If not, the Americans spawn. <laughs> uh, we do have to keep an eye out over here, though. Because I am now at war with Prussia and Poland-Lithuania. And not Russia. Okay, actually, who am I actually at war with? Uh, Iroquois, Pirates, Prussia, Huron, Barbary States, and Poland. Okay, so not too bad. That could be a lot worse, actually. Um, so hopefully Austria can fight off that without my intervention being needed, to be honest. I'd rather not really get involved with, uh, with that, but we'll see. Um, so we'll just leave Edward Russell here. Uh, we need to think about recruitment soon in London. Your Majesty. But the uh, main thing is clearing the road of pirates down here and preparing an army 
to go land in the 13 colonies. We'll probably have to land in like Virginia or Maryland, I think. Because uh, we need to kill the Iroquois. Uh, I'm going to accept the fact that I will probably lose Rupert's land to the Hurons. Um, so we'll see. Um, there's also this up here, York Factory, the Northwest Territories. Um, I think it's a Huron province as well. Yeah, it is. Um, so the, I'm going for the uh, I'm going for the Master of the Americas achievement because I've got Master of India. Oh, yeah, there's the Hurons already. See. Um, so I'm going to accept the fact that this settlement's probably lost. To be honest with you, um, I saw that coming a mile away. I put up like a little bit of a fat, uh, a little bit of a fight there, but like uh, the Huron, because at the moment the issue is is that I don't have bayonets, so the Huron infantry units are um, much better than my own, and I don't have, yeah, I don't, I can't build, yeah, okay, I can't build defenses there. Yeah, they've taken they've taken New York. But the 13 colonies will put up a bit of a fight against them, so that's fine. Um, we'll bring my navy to Kingston. And we'll pull this guy over. And we'll, we'll send him off to Nassau. And get him into there. Uh, we want to get... Uh, wait, wait, hang on. Uh, let's get sugar. And we'll pick up a unit of colonial militia from Nassau. Pick up a unit of line. Oh wait, I didn't even put him on. I didn't even put him in the fucking thing. Oh. Uh, five power twenty six. Five power. Get a couple. Of, get a sloop or two. Get a sloop to reconfigure the army there. Right, and then Churchill. Uh, we want to get rid of the pikes. The demi cannons are also pretty useless, but that's you can't you know you got to work with what you've got. But well, they're expensive. We we'll pick up the thirty third and a unit of cavalry as well. Okay, I'm just keeping an eye out for the the Russian navy just in case the AI decides they want to invade me instead of the uh, the poles, instead of the um the Austrians. So. Also, like, can I not trade with the Austrians? Seems I am allied with them. No. Uh, the ports in their home region are full capacity. Oh, boo. Cringe. Okay, yeah, so, so Rupert, Rupert's land is probably screwed. Um, we've got, like, this Huron army is going to absolutely stomp my garrison. So, so we we're going to accept the fact that we lose Rupert's land here, um, which is a shame because that's a good foothold for me. If my units had bayonets, I'd feel a lot more comfortable about this, but um, they don't. So we are going to, I'm going to fight it. We'll see what happens. Also, if I had a unit of cavalry, then I, I'd, I'd stomp this, but... So yeah, whilst the Prussians and the Austrians and the Poles batter each other to death on e in Eastern Europe, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be vibing over in the Americas. <laughs> right. Um, so the cool thing about Empire Total War is that I can do this. And what I can do is put my pikes up. I mean, like, these militia units are awful. But. If we can somewhat hold off the, uh. If we, oh, yeah, I'm playing on very hard, by, very hard, by the way. So, hey, Nez. We're playing on very hard, very hard. 
Um, because I figured I'd give myself a little bit more of a challenge. The Pikes, this Empire Total War, uh, came out in... Oh, what year did this come out? I don't know, actually. Speed things up a little bit. Oh, of course. Man, 2008? It's been that long? Blimey. I think this was my first... I don't think I got this in 2008. I think I got... I can't remember when I got this. But yeah, they're, they're just going to swamp me here. We are accepting the fact that this is lost. 2008 was when I went to school. I think, was I in year 7 in 2008? Uh, I think I was in year 7. Yeah, I was. I mean, that makes me feel, yeah. So yeah, we're going to do as much damage to the Huron here as we can. Uh, it'll be a while until we can take back Rupert's Land. As we are going to focus on dealing with the Cherokee and the Iroquois. Now the Hessians are going to get in, but they don't. They don't have uh, the uh, the Native American warriors. Is going. They've got a lot. Like yeah, their melee, their melee stats are just better. My pikemen should beat them though. Pull the rangers back. 2009. So, yeah, I, that makes... Yeah, because that's when I got it, I think. Oh, yeah, my Hessians are breaking already. This is what I mean. Native American warriors are really, really strong in the start of the game. Because um, Western... Western armies don't start with any bayonet unlocked so unless you can yeah and we didn't have any defenses we could use yeah no oh my general's dead yeah jeffrey butterworth oh we haven't killed a single one of their archers that's everything you need to know about the militia units. And then, yeah. That's that. Okay. Yeah, they were close to feet my ass. <laughs> it's okay, guys. We'll be back. I lost 420 men. Yeah, they take Rupert's factory. That's okay. We'll set up a bit of a retaliation force over here. We can't do that. Forward for crown and country. Forward. Orders received and understood. And we'll sail to Nassau. On our way, Captain. Ship's orders, Captain. And we'll go pick up the uh, the army in Nassau Set as well. Sail to the ships. Ship sailing on water. So we'll have a decent army in Nassau. We'll drop them off north, and we'll start looking at dealing with the Iroquois. Uh, we want to pick up. No, no, no. We want to get ring bayonet next. Because the issue with the plug bayonet is that if you um. If you use the plug bayonet, you can't use the rest of your troops. Like, your troops stop shooting, basically, because it blocks the... As it, the name suggests, it blocks the um, the muzzle. So the, the bullet can't travel. Another thing about this game is that if I landed an army on Paris and killed Fran and took Paris, uh, France would just be destroyed. So, there is also that. 
So like if I lose all if you lose all of your European territory, uh you lose the game. Like you start losing the game basically. Um so yeah. So the hmm the Iroquois have landed in Albany. So we probably want to land there, I think, and take them. And then get rid of just like march on the the Iroquois. Because if we can come up like this, we can knock out the Huron. Although they are up here, which is a pain in the ass. Um, I'd rather like knock out the Huron and the Iroquois before I go after the Cherokee, because then I've got to start thinking about fighting the French as well. So that is also problematic. So we'll build up Churchill. We'll build up Churchill's army. Um, we could invade Berlin, to be honest, but I don't really want to. Because that means also fighting the Poles, and I really don't want to do that. Um, what I might do is take Churchill and I'll drop him off in America. And we could start taking out Antigua and Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, we'll take out the pirates and get rid of the pirates as well. So we'll bring in John Churchill. We'll send, uh... We'll send, uh, Mr. What's his name? We'll send Kevin McDowell up north to deal with the Iroquois. And then we'll send Churchill to deal with the pirates. And we'll get rid of the pirates, so that's one less problem to worry about. <sighs> Taking a break from the Age of Empires 2 span. I'll have to, like, figure out... I'll have to create a new... F uh, if I can put this onto YouTube, I'll have to put up a... Uh, oh. New Royal Air, Adelaide. Nation destroy the Crimean Carnate. Daily current. Okay. Yes, Paul. Excellent. Right. Uh, let's go drop off in New York. And then we'll pop over back to Europe. We'll take Mr. John Churchill. Drop him into the Navy. Excellent. Let's go. All right. We need to go mid Atlantic, please. And we'll go to the Americas. In fact, is the Mid Atlantic the best spot? Or is here. Ooh, hmm. No, I think, actually. We go to Brazil. Yeah, we go to Brazil. And we see what else we can build up here. Because the main thing is, is that you don't want to lose your homeland. Um, for obvious reasons. It's just I'm rushing, I'm rushing ring bayonet now because if you can give your line infantry ring bayonet, line infantry are a solid unit that can carry your armies. You fuck up, Russia. I see that. The minute I remove the Royal Navy away, Prussia turns up. You son of a bitch. Fucking knew it. Who gave the Prussians a fleet? Who decided that was a good idea? Can I actually just make peace with you? I really cannot be bothered. Why? You bastard. What have you got? Okay. Well, I think Churchill's going to have to stay... Uh, Churchill's going to have to go and deal with the Prussians, I think. You, you annoy, you're going to put my, you're going to put my America's campaign on hold? Really? Can the Iroquois be held off by... These guys is the real question. Because at this rate, I'm going to have to divert my army to the Caribbean. And go and take the pirates out. Because if I leave the pirates un unattended, then... Ugh, fucking Prussians. Mm. Where to, yeah, Captain? well, we're here now, so... Clear the way and make Any further orders? Let's go take Albany. 
Demand surrender, thanks. Okay, this army will be able to hold off the uh, the Iroquois. Hopefully, I've got cavalry, so definitely. 